Poppies. Poppies. Poppies everywhere. But not a one to pick. Hi, I'm William Gilmore for HikeLosAngeles.com, and today we're going to explore a little further afield than our normal areas of discovery and see if we can find the fabled, colorful, and rare phenomenon known as the California poppy fields. So let's take it outside Los Angeles and see what we can discover at the Antelope Valley California Poppy Preserve. The Antelope Valley California Poppy Reserve is 1,800 acres of high desert plateau set aside to preserve one of the last remaining open field environments for the California state flower. Such ecological habitats were once plentiful on the California landscape, but farmland development and urban sprawl have plowed under or paved over these vast colorful fields. If it weren't for the efforts of Jane Pinero in establishing the park, this last vestige of colorful open space may have disappeared completely. The park itself houses a small visitor center with dioramas, interpretive displays, and a collection of Miss Pinero's poppy paintings, which helped spur lawmakers to set aside this small swath of California nature for future generations. There are seven miles of trails winding through the fields and to the tops of several promontory overlooks. Visitors are urged to stay on the trails and not venture into the fragile fields themselves. Those that do stray from the well-marked dirt paths may find themselves with a souvenir citation accompanied with a hefty fine. So if you don't want to take home a pricey memento of your visit, stay on the trails. The magnitude of the bloom in any given year is dependent on winter rains and the right temperatures in February and March. In 2017, after six years of drought, conditions were perfect for a super bloom, and visitors have flocked to the reserve to see millions of poppies blanketing the desert floor. But poppies aren't the only plant life painting the desert. There are also popcorn flowers, gold fields, lacy phacelia, and over a dozen other flowering plants adding their own distinctive color to the landscape. Other desert plants include the rabbit bush and the stately Joshua tree. Springtime is the most popular time to visit the preserve as that's when the poppies are in bloom. But that also means that the park will fill up quickly on weekends with visitors. So weekdays might be a better time to plan your trip as there will be fewer people out on the trails. Also there's a $10 parking fee to park inside the preserve or you can park outside along the perimeter on the highway and hike into the preserve at no charge. Now the bloom this year in 2017 is expected to last until mid-April, possibly even the end of April. But that just means the clock is ticking for your chance to get out and see this colorful and rare California phenomenon. Anyway, until next time, I'm William Gilmore asking you to take a hike Los Angeles right here on HikeLosAngeles.com. <laughs>